but we're here to finally reveal to you guys the car that we've been teasing on Instagram over the past couple of weeks about our new This 197, got the VMP. You're waiting on a pulley for this guy, right? Got everything else done, waiting on the pulley. It's supposed to be here either today or Monday, so we got it back up in the shop. That way when it gets here, we put it together, get everything, get the fluids in it, get it fired up for the customer. We, everybody thinks we're just an S550 shop. We work on everything. We 50s, we do uh, coyote swaps on Fox bodies. We do pretty much everything. We got, an 80, we got an 82, we got it here right now. We just had the engine base smoothed in it, everything done. We're putting a Gen 3 Coyote with a 10R80 in it. 2024 is gonna be a big year for HPR, yeah, yeah, guys. Yeah, 2024 is gonna be a huge year for us. You know, me being a Ford, uh, Senior Master Ford Certified Tech for, you know, 12, over 12 years, you know. Yeah, you know. Uh, anything Ford related, we take care of here. I got you. So guys, if you haven't guessed already, we are here in Henderson, Tennessee. Links are down below hanging out with Ken from HPR. Oh. So, so 20 different states so yep. far in Henderson, Tennessee, you've taken care of mm -hmm. tons of cars, but you guys know, you've seen them on the channel a ton. Yeah. AKA Speed Addict 731, yeah. now HPR Automotive, but we're here to finally reveal to you guys the car that we've been teasing on Instagram over the past couple of weeks about our new 2024 Mustang. It's pretty spicy, it's pretty spicy. And we're gonna do a lot of things with it. I decided to go ahead and pick up a 2024 and here's why. So basically, I'm a Mustang guy, right? It's the Mustang channel and what better way to support the brand than to buy the new Mustang. Keep Ford going. Camaros, Challengers, they're all dead, guys. Ford's still in the game, still holding it down, and what better way to support the brand that we love so very much than to own one. Also, to share actual ownership perspective. Trials, tribulations, this is a whole new platform. We're gonna show you the car in just a second, but I just wanna get this out there. Everything about this car is pretty much new. It's gonna have a whole different aftermarket support, different cosmetics, different suspension, different power, different this, different that. Yes, tuning is not available yet, but that's going to be coming and we're gonna have the car already here. So from day one, that these cars get unlocked, well, Wingard Performance is going to take the reins and unleash the beast. Yeah, one ahead, thing we say, we say they're not tunable, but however, Whipple does have a supercharger kit out. They do. With their tune. They do. And uh, we are a Whipple dealer, shameless plug, but email me, Ken at HPRAutomotive.com. You can go to the website. We're slowly building the website. I'm building the website on my own. Be patient, but anything. Under the sun. Dealership for anything. Uh, for invasive fuel systems. You name it, we can get it. We're a dealer for it. Now, however, as soon as they get it opened up and you can actually tune the cars, then it's, it's going to be a whole later. different world. I think it'll be sooner than later. Anyway, they that's they are working heavy. Fingers on crossed it. that's going to happen and we're going to be able to bring you that content. But I wanted to be able to buy the car so that we can have that ownership perspective. Yeah. And I got to tell you, man, guys, I am blown away by the new 2024 Mustang. We're going to get out here, we're going to take a look at it and show you the spec, the details, all the nitty gritty. Then we're going to do our first drive. We can do all those things. We also, yesterday, so this is filmed a little bit out of order. Yesterday, we put the car in the air on the lift and saw some interesting things underneath of the car that you guys don't want to miss in the video following this one. So make sure that you are subscribed and you're paying attention to the channel because we're going to bring you some coverage that your normal YouTuber that just takes the car around the block from the dealership is not going to be able to show you. So we've got that ownership perspective we're going to tell the story we're going to have the adventure we're going to do all those things with this new mustang guys i'm so excited because it is a heck of a car what do you think about it i like them do like the car i didn't think i was gonna like it as much when i seen one in person i didn't either. and i was able to drive it check it out and do all that stuff and i really i didn't think i was gonna like the car as much as i did now time to go out here and share the new mustang i know everybody's gonna kill me in the comments but guys like i said Don't it's, worry, the, I it's a we're mustang it. channel and we gotta keep the story going i've got hundreds of videos on the s550 we've built five of them Okay, so tons, I've owned five of them. We've built them all up in similar ways. Now it's time to move on into the future and we're gonna do that with the new 24 Mustang GT. And let's go out here and take a look because I think that you're gonna like it. I certainly do. Let's go take a spin. Say, wait, say that again? I do like the car. Oh, good. So also, real quick, one of the reasons we're here at HBR is because we had the first 
supercharged, ESS supercharged Mach 1 in the entire planet here installed mm -hmm. at HPR. Yeah. We've done some cool things in this shop. We're going to continue that same story, that same development, the same yeah. building journey with the 24 Mustang. And, uh, we're going to see what it's all about. We're going to chase power whenever we can. We're going to do suspension. We're going to do something interesting with this car that we haven't done before yet on the channel. Okay, so a little bit of, well, actually it's gonna be quite a bit of a different build, different companies we're gonna work with. But anyway, wanted to bring it to you. I had to deliver some parts to you. Mm -hmm. This is the shop. This is the shop. This is where you wanna be. And we're gonna be expanding this next year. We're gonna be expanding the okay. shop. We're gonna be doing things. Uh, so just stick around. It's good things are coming. Good, awesome. Good I'm things. excited for you. But all right, um, let's go take a look at our new Mustang. Let's go. Mustangs, Mustangs, Mustangs everywhere. Mustangs, Mustangs, and a 24 Mustang, guys. Here it is. This is our brand new performance package, 401A, lots of options, got a really sick interior, 2024 Mustang GT, guys. This is really hot. So we're gonna do a little walk around. We're gonna do a first drive for you guys uh, and a, another video whenever we get home because I'm about three hours away from it. Um, but this is it, this is it. Oxford White, we went with another Oxford White. I'll explain in another video probably why I got this one specifically because this was kind of hard to find. And truthfully, they are hard to find all across the country uh, depending on the spec that you want. But I love these new wheels. These things are gorgeous. This is probably one of my favorite OEM wheels from Ford. So lots of cool goodies on this car. Let's do a little walk around here. But this is it. This is our new 2024 Mustang GT performance package, guys. This thing is the hotness. I gotta say, yeah, um, all the videos we've done Leading up to what you're watching right now, I was not a big fan on social media of the all-new 24. I had a lot of, of gripes and complaints, but I'm happy to say that once I saw these things in person, it was immediate love. It was immediate love. Like, I hated the taillights, the rear diffuser, all that, but in person, I'm absolutely just blown away. Absolutely blown away. The front end completely grew on me. The interior, here we go. So, we went with the Carmine Red. It's awesome guys it's got the red on the door here the seats everything is absolutely beautiful amazing and if you could see right here this is gonna make a lot of you guys happy no more 10 speed we went back to a manual transmission car that's going to lead us into the future build of this beautiful machine here and uh, we'll discuss that later on, what exactly the goals and the purpose of this build will be. But manual transmission is a big part of that. I wanted to go back to a manual and there's a good reason for it. So um, yeah, just stay tuned. But you guys will be happy, I'm sure. A lot of you will be happy to see that we got three pedals again. I'm certainly excited for it. So but this is it. The interior, amazing. We're not going to beat you to death with showing you two intakes under the hood. We know they're there. We know all these things already. But this is it. This is our walk around. Little video. Alright guys, so we've got uh, almost 1,600 miles driven on the car already. So I am now in a position where I feel I wanted to put some miles on it so I can, whenever we make the first drive video, I can really talk with some validity about like the differences between this and like an S550. Okay, I didn't want to get in the car and be like, oh yeah, so great. I wanted to be able to give you realistic answers and feedback on how I feel, how having owned five S550s and now this, is it different? Is it enough to be a new platform, even though it's riding on the same chassis? How is the ride? How is this? How is that? We're gonna answer all those things in the next couple of videos, guys. Stay tuned because I've got some interesting perspectives. I've got some things to say. Pretty much all of it's good, some bad, some nitpicky stuff, but guys, we are not just taking this thing for the spin around the back of a dealership, a test drive, right? We now own this car. We're gonna make content with the car. What better way to have a Mustang channel than to have the all new Mustang and support Ford and yes, tuning will be available at some point. Winger Performance is going to take care of us, I'm sure. And uh, word on the street, it might be actually sooner than later. So fingers are crossed. But here we go. Here we go. 2024 Mustang GT. We love it.
again, these wheels. So, no Magnaride, no Recaros. I did uh, actually order a totally different car um, that's still being actually built, and I don't think I'm going to take the liver. I think we keep this one, but it's pretty much spec the same. We just added things like the Recaros, red brake calipers, and the 10 speed. But then I drove one of these, long story short, I drove a manual, and they've improved things so much, I decided that it was worth it to go back to an MT82. Okay, so more to follow in future videos. The first drive, we're going to talk about it. Why I think that it's... Guys, I, I, I kind of at a loss for words here. Um, there's so much to say, so little time in the video. How good these things actually are. Get past the tuning stuff. Guys, it's going to get tuned eventually. And then we're going to have the car already here on the channel. We're going to have a ton of content for you guys to watch. But yeah, I mean, so it's a whole new adventure. Um, we're going to have a bunch of new aftermarket support for this thing cosmetics suspension eventually power all those things different exhaust because some of the old stuff works on these new ones but a lot of it actually doesn't so everything's being re-engineered reinvented and uh, all new stuff so it's a whole new platform and we're going to go through the trials tribulations the things that we learn about the car things that we learn not to do with the car we're going to be able to show all those things on camera on this channel the adventure begins now that's gonna wrap up this video get ready for the many more to come right after this god bless all of you see you later bye